Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn and today I am crafting with the Spellbinders December 2023 Club Kids and this is the first, the very first stencil of the month club and I thought it would be fun to, I was actually just going to make a uh, tag and I ultimately ended up using the tag on a card. So so you'll see a full card by the end of this video. The stencil is a layered stencil. And what's interesting about this is that there are two, two sets of two stencils. So with the first set of two, you have the floral elements and that's broken out into two separate stencils. So one of the stencils will do the flowers and the petals and the second stencil that will match up along with it will do the stems, uh, help you to color in the stems of those flower buds. And the, the flower buds are really sweet. They are um, a lot of different uh, angles and they're kind of heart shaped, which I really like. And what I'm going to do is these are great if you want to make a full background, but they are also far enough apart in terms of the, the design elements are far enough apart where it's pretty easy to just do some selective stenciling if you wanted to just do what I'm doing where I'm picking just one of the flowers to ink through and onto my tag. You obviously you could do this with others, any stencil, just, you know, mask off the areas that you don't want to stencil through. But this one, it's the designs far enough off that uh, or separated from each other that it's really easy to stencil just a single element without having to do any masking. So I kind of like that. Then I'll also be working with the wax seal that came with this month's club kits um, in the wax seal club. And by the way, with the wax seal club, I love that along with the new seal design that you get each month, if you are a subscriber to the club, you also get a pack of uh, wax seal beads in a random color, which is really nice because, you know, that's a consumable element. And so it is nice that being part of the club, not only are you getting a, a bit of a discount, um, but you also get to replenish your stash. Now it is a random color, so you may or you may not already have it, but it's always really nice to, um, to get that sort of restocked. And it's the same or similar to the glimmer of the month where not only do you get the glimmer plates, but you also get the uh, a, a roll of foil as well to go with it. And that's something you don't get if you are not subscribed on a monthly basis. So just something to consider if you do like working with seals um, that you also get a pack of um, beads and it's a full size pack too. So I'm trying out this new electric wax seal warmer. I tried a different brand earlier and I think that was in um, a video earlier. I'm pretty sure I, I have a video of myself working with it but I first off that one heats up so slowly and in any case I'm a little bit impatient when I work with seals. I even when I'm using a flame <laughs> one of the votive candle flames I I like to have two flames going so that I can be melting two spoonfuls at a time. So the first burner, electric burner I got was was very warm and I thought or very um, slow to warm up and I don't think it gets as hot as a flame does. And so I decided, well, let me just get a second one because in any case, I like to have two burners going. And I'm glad that I actually picked a different brand to try just um, to see if all electric warmers are slow or if it was just the one that I got first and I'm happy to say that this one works better. It is this one they're both relatively inexpensive under ten dollars if you catch a sale like a lightning deal 
maybe even closer to five or six. And it's it's pretty no frills. It's just, you know, the one spoon, the warmer, and, and that's it. The uh, This one, though, the one that's kind of shaped w- like a cat paw, and it actually has the on-off button on the main device as opposed to a rocker switch that's on the cable, power cable. This one heats up very quickly and it is pretty good. Both of them have larger spoons than what a flame, what I have as part of my, um, uh, like the open flame uh, candle uh, set that I have. So it is kind of nice that you can actually, I think you can actually melt closer to seven to eight beads. Uh, I think you could maybe melt enough for two wax seals in one go. So that that aspect is kind of nice because it does help speed the process on a little bit, <laughs> which is one of the reasons why I like having two burners going. So this, so far, this warmer, I would say I like better than the first one that I tried, which is uh, the, about the same color as that same sort of powder blue color, but in a triangular shape. And like I mentioned, with this one, you've got the on-off switch, uh, as one of the buttons that is on the top of the um, main device, whereas the triangular shaped one has a rocker switch that's on the power cable itself. So I am liking I am liking these electric this electric warmer anyways because it's it's not too slow and it has the, the nice larger spoon so I can melt more wax. And then I don't have to buy more votive or little tea light candles. So it's really nice that that for wax seal making, if you do use it a lot, that you um, don't have to continue to buy more things to keep it going. So I do like it for that. The only problem is that I could not find readily extra spoons. I would love to have some extra spoons. Just the spoon by itself would be nice. So that's one thing I wish I could find. It's very, because the the cradle is recessed, it seems very specific to the size and shape spoon that they made to go along with it. And I can't find where I can just buy an extra spoon. So I'm going to continue hunt for that, but I will leave it in the links below in case you are curious to check it out. So I'm uh, well underway with my card here, and this was an extra panel I had left over after I flipped uh, the December Club kits. I I thought I would actually use this on, was it my layered? I think it was my layered card, but I I ended up changing my mind a little bit. So this is an embossed panel, but the embossing folder that I use is an older one. It's got this really nice plaid pattern. It's actually one of the ones that I think originally was a Fun Stamper's Journey uh, embossing folder. I could be mistaken on that, but um, but it's the smaller size, the one that uh, is only large enough to emboss an A2 panel. I've got my uh, ribbon going through the top. I just punched the top of the ribbon with one of those um, kind of multi top punches where you can punch uh, multiple different widths and it has that really nice curvy decorative um, shape at the top and it also punches out the hole for your ribbon to go through. So I've, I'm going to lift this on my card with a little bit of low profile uh, foam. Actually, I think this is my regular thickness foam, so about two millimeters. And then I'll um, add one of the seals. So I do like to have a nice kind of long session of seal making and I like to create them in a variety of different colors, mixing and matching some of the colors so that I have a good variation to select from when I go to craft. Then anything that I have left over, I uh, save for other projects. Sometimes I send them along in mini card kits, which I've been giving away. So uh, they make for fun little uh, happy mail goodies 
also. So I'll go ahead and uh, stick that on to my tag and that's going to be it for this card. I want it to keep it really, really simple and I love the sentiment, love you to the moon and back. I think that's just really, really sweet and so perfect for this simple, simple card. Thanks so much for joining me today and until next time, happy crafting and have a fabulous day. Thanks. Bye.